Welcome to Volrath University. I'm Chef Rich, and today we're going to talk about how to season a cast iron or a carbon steel fry pan. Raw iron pans, when you first receive them, they don't cook very well. Food will stick and they'll also rust. So that's why you want to season these pans. There's many different types of, of seasonings and methods that people have used throughout the years, talking about the differences in oils and techniques. And lately I've been reading a lot about flaxseed oil. And today I'm going to show you how to use flaxseed oil on a stovetop to season a carbon steel fry pan. Raw steel pans such as carbon steel and cast iron are typically shipped like this in a bag with light oil on them. So the first thing you want to do when you receive your new pan is thoroughly clean the pan of all the manufacturing oils that were used and put it on the stove and begin to heat the pan. While we're waiting for our pan to warm, let's talk about flaxseed oil. The reason we want to use the flaxseed oil is because it's very high in omega-3 fatty acids. And these acids, when it reaches its smoke point, change and polymerize and then further cross-link and bond to the surface of the pan, the, the iron surface. And that's what begins to form our season coating. And now we want to turn off the heat and apply a little flaxseed oil. Next, we're going to take a clean cloth, paper towel, and rub that flaxseed oil over the surface of the pan. We really want a nice, very, very thin layer of the oil in the pan. We don't want to see any drips or runs. So just a nice, thin layer of the flaxseed oil in the pan. Now we return the pan to the stove and let it under high heat. We want to heat this pan on high heat until the oil reaches its smoke point and it'll begin to bond again to the surface of the pan. Okay, now after several minutes, your pan will look like this. The oil has reached its smoke point and again be began to adhere to the pan. Now what we want to do is let that pan cool. Okay, now the pan has fully cooled, so we want to repeat the process. Warming the pan. Now I can't emphasize enough the fact that we don't want to rush this process we're going to take it very slow and use multiple coats of very thin oil. Now the pan is warm. Let's go ahead and give it another coat. Again, being very careful not to have any drips or runs. And let that pan have another process. You can see now that the oil has reached its smoke point. And it's beginning to evaporate and, and, and form that cross-link to the previous layer. Okay, now you want to repeat that process of these thin layers back to the heat and so forth. And now this pan, we've done that 11 times. And you can see our surface now is a very hard, smooth, very durable surface. And I can't emphasize enough to use very thin coats of the oil back and forth through the heat, and again, this pan we've done 11 times. Very nice surface. If you try to rush this process, what you're going to have is this. Now you can see how splotchy it is, and also it's very thick and gummy. This is because I put too much oil in to try to show what will happen if you want to rush this. This, pro this pan isn't going to be very durable, and again, it's actually kind of sticky because that oil is very gummy. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about cleaning and maintaining your seasoned pan. After using these pans, you just want to wash them out in the pot and pan sink with some water. A little soap, nothing too abrasive, and certainly not any scouring pads. You want to keep that surface very smooth. If you should find that you need to season this pan again, that, it's, that you've, you've gouged it, you, you can go back to the natural state by using a little oven cleaner, scouring it clean, and then repeating this process again with the, with the light coats of oil. And that's it. A nice easy way to season your cast iron or carbon steel pans.